Hi, Gloria Lightbecker here with Healing You. How do you deal with change? Have you been dealing with change? It can come in many different ways. Some of us, when change happens, especially if it's unexpected, we might get angry about it because we don't like change. We like things to stay on an even keel. We like the familiarity of them not changing at all. Some of us say that the older we get, the harder change becomes, and that we're just stuck in our ways. Well, that's pretty true with a lot of us because it gets uncomfortable. And we don't like to feel uncomfortable as human beings. Others of us, we might get startled feel really uneasy and uncertainty can really come up for us because it's new, ta ne <laughs> it's new territory to navigate because change means things are different and the need for predictability can really come up. We get comfortable with familiarity. We think we already know things then. We don't have to learn them all over again. So maybe you get scared. Maybe it comes up in the form of just so scared that you might not succeed or that you'll get it wrong. And other people like me, we don't like to get it wrong. We want to know that we're gonna get it right. Whatever right is. Or we get worried that things are never gonna feel easy again. Sometimes change can feel really drastic. It can feel like it went from black to white, or maybe from black and white, it went to wild color, technicolor. And, and again, we just are not clear on what the path is now. But you know, the truth is change is happening all the time. The problem is that we might not be noticing it. It happens every moment of every day when we take time to have the eyes to see it. But when we live with a sense of unawareness, it can feel as if it just sneaks up on us. This can happen in many different ways. For me, most recently it's happened by getting to have a new granddaughter. Because my daughter, who just had this baby, is the same age that I was when I had a baby girl. And that just seems like it was a blink of an eye ago. And now I have a new granddaughter. And this makes a lot of changes, changes that I did notice the first time becoming the mother of a daughter. And now there's new changes that are happening as I'm the mother of a daughter who has a new daughter. And one of the gifts that I'm receiving from these changes is noticing the patterns with more clarity and more compassionate understanding. Because it is possible to begin to notice our reactions to changes and to be able to be in response, to have choice. Rather than completing our initial reaction, we can slow down and begin to respond from our heart energy we can then even begin to welcome the unexpected and be comfortable with the unknown. How do you do this? Well, for me, it's been by developing presence and cultivating curiosity, which helps to grow my awareness. It's possible we can learn to welcome our emotions and receive the information that they hold for us. They bring messages to us when we learn how to listen. If you'd like to join me and get to explore this more fully, reach out to me at healingyousanctuary.com. Thanks for being on the journey with me today. Healing You.